okay guys in this tutorial windows 10 uh, sorts box it is showing the blank space so if your windows 10 sorts is showing the blank box when you type something over there you'll see it's a complete blank you do not get any result so few st steps few methods in this tutorial you can follow in order to fix this issue so let's begin with the very first method what you're gonna do you just have to open the run so here is the start give a right click on the start and here is run so you just have to open this run another way to open this run is you just have to press windows key and R key in your keyboard so windows plus R to open run now you can see here it is registry editing shortcut key to open the reg edit so type it as it is on run so this is a run box you just have to type it R E Z E D I T and then click on OK it can ask you for the permission click on yes and this opens this page so in the beginning you're gonna see like this so this is how it looks in the beginning so what we're gonna do here you're gonna click on it's a yes key current user so you can see here is uh, the arrow sign just click on that arrow sign and you get uh, lots of option so the next thing you're gonna select software from here so it's the software so it's the arrow sign just have to click on this arrow sign and you get uh, many more options inside software again you have to choose a Microsoft so you scroll it down and somewhere you're gonna see Microsoft okay guys I guess you can see here this is the arrow icon and here's the Microsoft so just click on this arrow icon not on the Microsoft but on this arrow icon to get more option so lots of option inside Microsoft inside Microsoft you're gonna, you're gonna choose Windows you scroll down and you can see here is the windows in this windows here is the arrow sign click on this arrow sign and here is the windows now the current version just move it a little bit this side here you can see is the current version inside windows so again inside current version you can see it's the arrow like icon so click on this arrow like icon and you have a lots of option inside current version inside current version we're gonna find search okay guys here is the search inside search also there's a drop down icon so we don't have to go with the drop down icon inside search you just have to click on search not on the arrow sign but you have to click on search once you click on search go on the right side and in the blank space empty space you're gonna give a right click and then you're gonna click on new so in the blank space somewhere give a right click choose new inside new you're gonna choose it's a d word 32 bit value all right it's a d word 32 bit value and then enter now you just have to give a name the name should be type it as it is it's a Bing B I N Z search enabled B I N G Bing S E A R C H search E N A D L E D enabled without any space and then press enter key. Now just give a double click on it and make sure that value is zero. If you see value other than zero, you have just have to make sure if you see any value other than zero, you just change it to zero and then click on OK. Now in the same 
uh, all right guys in the same page you just have to scroll up and somewhere you're gonna see Cortana consent here it is it's a Cortana consent in Cortana consent just give a double click once you give a double click you can see the value is 1 so change that value to 0 and then click on OK you change that value to 0 and click on OK if uh, by default moreover the value will be 0 but if you see any value other than 0 you just have to change it to 0 so both the value we change to 0 now what you gonna do you just have to close it just close it close everything and then you have to restart your PC okay guys now you just have to restart your PC you can see restart press ok to restart the PC so once you restart when you come back now you're gonna check your search box should be working okay guys you can see you're gonna type anything it is showing the result now you do not have a blank box if the method do not work and you are still having the issue you can try the next method so the next method is you're gonna press alt control and delete key so one by one at first you're gonna tap alt key control key and then delete key together in your keyboard alt control and then delete key and then you're gonna choose tax manager the another easy way to open the tax manager is give a right click on a tax bar and then you're gonna choose tax manager now you have to go to the details you can see here is details tab you just have to choose the details tab inside details tab you have to tap a letter yes so you can see here is the search ui.exe you just have to select that give a right click on it and then end tasks when you end the task just wait for a while and you can see it will start the another task search ui.exe again or you can just uh, check now just uh, close it and then you can check it if your search is working you can see your search should be working fine now and if it is still blank it is not working you can try the next solution sometime updating the windows also help you guys so you just have to give a right click on start and go to settings and then you just have to click on update and security so you can check for the updates and then you can install all the necessary update if it is any manual uh, update available at the below it asks you to download and install you can just uh, download and install all the update available over here so you can in see it is installing the update so after installing the update also uh, you can see check it out restart your PC and check it out if your search is still blank or it's working so when you type anything on search if it is still showing blank you can proceed to the next step but some if you are using the Windows 10 with the version 1809 and earlier you can try this step click on a start icon and then right click on Cortana select more go to app setting and then click on reset I cannot show you in this PC because mine Windows version is 1909 so this option is not available in my PC so if you are using the latest version of Windows 10 uh, version 19.09 or some uh, other latest version and you do not have a Cortana option right over there in the start icon you can watch the video ahead you'll find a uh, command prompt method so you have to reset it through the command prompt method so sometimes doing this also help you with the search box that your search box is uh, blank if this tutorial if this step really help you guys okay otherwise proceed to the next method again you just have to 
press the windows key and R so here it is tap the windows button in your keyboard and R button together and that will open this run now you're gonna type this so you can make a note of it and you have to type it as it is without any spelling mistake over here once you type it you just have to press OK I'm just gonna press OK and then it should fix the issue if the issue is not fixed you can proceed to the next solution but another way to run this you just have to make a note of this one it's a ctf m o n dot e x e just uh, make a note of this one give a right click on start and then open command prompt as an admin click on yes now in a command prompt you just have to run the command so here's the command prompt so just type the command same thing whether you do it in a first method or through command prompt so you just have to run this ctfmon.exe and then try check if your problem is fixed otherwise proceed to the next solution proceeding to the next solution you have to search for the file open the browser any one of the search engine and then you can search for reset windows search powershell script always choose the official website you can see here is the download option now you can download for the file you have, there is a number of web you can choose the web to download the file so once you click on the link you will see this page where you are going to see just scroll the page and you are going to see the download option so click on download to download the file so you can see here is the file I have downloaded it's a reset windows search box so what you're gonna do now just give a right click on it and then run with PowerShell so here is on the top you're gonna see run with PowerShell it gonna ask you for the permission click on open now it will open the PowerShell it can see it can ask you for the several permission so you have to give the permission as Y for yes click on yes ok guys you can see it is not successful you can see cannot be loaded if you receive any kind of message like done if it runs the file successfully and if it is done you just have to close the box and then check if your search is working fine now if you receive the message cannot be loaded because running a script is disabled so if you receive the message like this cannot be loaded you are gonna proceed ahead if it is done just exit over here if it is not done if it can't be loaded proceed ahead and you are gonna type few commands so type the commands as it is so as you can make a note of this command even you will find this command right over there in pinned post in the comment section so you can make a note of it you can copy it or type it and paste it over here and press enter key you will you can see is the message restricted so the next command you are going to type ok here is the next command that you are going to type so make a note of this command as it is correctly or you will find it in the pinned post in the comment section down below or you can just copy and paste it or you just have to type it press enter key once you type you can ask you for the permission so you can press Y and press enter key to give the permission now you can just close the window and then you just have to try again 
so it was not done in the very beginning in the first time we received cannot be done because of some restriction now after doing that uh, you're closing the windows you don't wanna try the same step again you will right click on it and then run with PowerShell so run it PowerShell click on open click on yes and you can see it's a security warning it is asking you whether whether you want to run it or you do not want to run it so you have to press R to run once so press R key and press enter key to run once you can see resetting windows search box right over here press any key to continue just press any key to continue and you are done guys you can see you are almost uh, done resetting the windows search so now you just have to go back and check if your windows search is working fine now and then you can restart your pc and check if your windows search is working fine now after doing this your windows search must be working now couple of step more you have to follow so the next command finally that you need to run is this one so make a note of it or you just uh, check the pinned post in the comment section uh, pinned over there so you just have to type it as it is or just copy and paste it so in this command you're gonna see guys here at the end it is restricted so in the very beginning we typed this command so when we typed this command I got the message restricted so at the end of uh, so this command is, is up to here so restricted is one that I got when I typed this command in the very beginning in the very beginning I typed this command and I got the message as restricted so it is restricted over here at the end so same value what you got after typing this command in the very beginning if in your PC you are got you got other messages other than restricted so normally you might be getting restricted in case if you got any message any other than the restricted you just have to use that one while typing this command in the very beginning you just have to make a note what message or what value you are getting so just type this command or just uh, copy and paste this command over here now so do not close you just have to type this command and press enter key it can ask you for the permission click on Y sorry guys type Y to give the permission as yes and press enter key and you are all done now you can just close the window so this was finally another method that you could try in order to fix the issue okay guys finally I hope this tutorial help you guys follow one by one all the steps in the tutorial and one the either step will definitely help you I hope you uh, you get help and the search box will start working fine again now you can see my search box is working fine I hope you all also get help with this tutorial so if you like this tutorial be sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment I'll catch you in the next tutorial with another greatest stuff have a good day